This is not how I pictured my retirement. Getting shot over a nebula of battery acid in the arse end of nowhere. But I'm invested now. And there's one last thing I want to do before I quit. G'day mates and welcome to Heat Signature, this little uh, indie gem that I found just recently. And I'm going to run us through, do a couple of episodes and see what the reception is like with you guys because I have played about maybe 10 minutes. I got through the tutorial and a little tiny bit more and this is a hell of a lot of fun. So before I get too, I guess, uh, skilled or experienced at the game, I want to put myself in. Anyway, let's dock on. Okay, so we're going to be running through a bit of a tutorial here. I'm not going to try to talk too much over it, but knowing me, I probably will. So effectively, the game is fairly simple in the early stages. We need that key card, so it's basically pausable real time. You know, I think I'm going to talk over everything. That's what I do. So we pause time up, and we can actually teleport certain items to us. Let's bring in this key card, and uh, while we're at it. Let's also teleport in the Face Breaker. A fast, light, quiet, powerful, non-lethal melee weapon. So, there's a few different things that this one can do. The Have a look on the left, sort of, I can't quite show you, but it'll be in this area of the screen once I'm pointing at it. You can see it has five different statistics, and pardon the wind in the background, it has been terrible. Terrible wind lately, I've actually been unable to record because the power keeps going out. Hopefully today is going to be a bit better. Anyway, we have Concussive, we have Ignore's Armor, Long Dash Range, Quick Recovery, and Quiet Strike. And they're the two weapon, or they're the, the two different things we have. Uh, we will teleport this weapon to us, and we will equip it to our left click button. You can have a left click and a right click weapon. So let's go through that and see how we go here. Now this guard is facing away from us, so let's sneak up behind him. We're going to aim, and if we can aim wherever we want, but if we go sort of in his vague direction, it will lock onto him. And we are sort of in a slow motion time at this point, so I can sort of barely move, but time is slow, and if I see any bullets coming towards me, it'll be sort of in bullet time as well. Now I let go, and we kick the crap out of him. So now we've got ourselves a gun, we take that, let's equip the gun to our right click now. Now this guy here can't get through this level 2 door, and he has the key. So there's no way to get him out, other than to make some noise. Now he's heard it, and it's set off an alarm. I'm going to slow motion and knock this guy ass out. Uh, I could take his gun, but I got one gun. Now we have ourselves a bit of a time limit here. Uh, yes, okay, that just tells you a little bit about the guards actually... Um, now that I've triggered the alarm, so the guard did see me and did hear me. Now this guy up here is the captain. He's sleeping, he cannot see what's going on, he's sort of in like the Matrix or something like that. I don't know how to describe him. He's flying the ship and he doesn't know what's going on. So, we're going to unpause and continue on and beat the crap out of this guy. Let's just do a, uh, a melee kill on him. We've got enough time up here. He doesn't know we're here. He can't stop us. So we'll just line up a melee kill. Oh, actually, a, not even a kill. We're just going to knock him out with a uh, stunning thing. And then he's gone us over there. I'm going to take his wrench just because I can. And we can begin flying the ship. Set course for Cold Rock Haven. Breaker, I've got the seed ship. Let a course for Cold Rock Haven. The ship can crash the defenses, but you'd reprogram them from the inside while they're down. I'm going to throw myself into space now. Meet me in the bar if I don't die. Okay. This could be uh, a little bit fun. Let's shoot our way out. <laughs> That's twice now we've been shot into space. Surely nothing bad will happen this time. Just appreciate the scale of this universe. Now these guys, people have created this absolute little indie gem. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. You've sort of seen the basics of gameplay just there in that tutorial. But now we're going to head in and effectively learn what the story of this little game is. Now I didn't get very far at all. I think I did like two missions and thought this was just so much fun I had to record it. Because I, uh, I guess now that I've got power for once, it'll be good to get something done. Anyway. Cold Rock Haven has been captured and recaptured four times this year. First three times, no one who lives there could fight it. This time, one of them can. This time, one of them has a 40-year career in espionage, a breach of stealth pod, and a kinetic facebreaker. 
It's going to change hands one last time. This time, I'm taking it. Say the fiasco. She's a pretty cool looking chick. Anyway, we're still out in the middle of space. That is a little bit of a problem, considering we're... Well, I don't know if we've got a spacesuit or not. Doesn't look like it. That's her hair, so we don't actually have a spacesuit. We may well be about to die here. But what we can do is control our... We'll get our remote control pod. So we click that, and the pod now is going to come for us. So, what we can do is actually catch ourselves. Now, it is uh, Newtonian physics, so this thing will continue to go unless I break. Whoa! It's quite finicky. See if I can catch myself without dying. I'm still very new at this game. And there we go. Managed to catch ourselves. And we survived. We actually did travel quite a big distance. I think somewhere up there near that star or something was where the ship was originally. And we just keep moving. Physics are just going to keep on hurtling us forward. We can, of course, speed up just a little bit. The important thing to note is this galaxy is completely different looking to the one I was at before. There are... well... There are certain sort of fixed similarities based on the story, which we'll cover in time. But the shape is entirely different. The one I was in had all the stuff up here and big long pointy bits coming down there. So we're a little bit different this time. Anyway, we are going to head into this little space rock thing here. If I can get in. Okay, well this is our little uh, space joint. There's all these different shops down the bottom here. A whole bunch of other stuff. We will cover that in time. Anyway, let's talk to Breaker Gemini. Holy shit, you're alive! I get that more than you think. Hey, we have a situation! Sorry, I take that back. Hey, we have a station! <laughs> oh, I have a station. Almost hard to believe nine people have shot you, Seda. It's ten now. And somehow, it's never enough. This is gonna start something, you know. Other stations gonna wanna throw off the shackles like this. Four factions fighting over the cloud. We have against strongholds. This ward stands. That's the plan. Sure you don't want to postpone your retirement and help out? You tear through these amateurs. I've been shot ten times, Breaker. Be lucky if I can make it to the couch. Fair enough. So that's it? You're going to retire? I can't picture it. What you going to do? My accent is all over the place, but you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, connections. People here have problems. Money. Top one. People here have problems. I'm going to help out. Well, they're probably going to come help, come to me with those, but I'll point them your way. Thanks, B. Here we go. Time to retire. And that's it. I have now retired. My character is Gonski. Now I have a new person I can pick. Now, I haven't actually had someone die yet, so I don't know what happens if they do, but I'm assuming you come back and you just pick a new person and continue on, and if everyone's dead and you haven't got any replacements in that time, then it's game over, or maybe they just keep on getting you and volunteers. I don't know. Either way, if you have a look up the top right, everyone has a different story. Uh, they're all completely different. The left is their equipment, and you can see over here is their... I don't know what this blue one is, but that one appears to be money. Oh, no, that, that one there is money of some sort. Uh, I'm not sure what this, these two things are just yet, but I'll figure it out. Uh, either way, it's, it's money, and you see this person here at the top right, they have a personal mission. So this one wants to bring in the sovereign officer who murdered their sister, Evita. Sounds like a chick, maybe? So murdered her sister. Uh, but it's going to cost us 200 buckaroos, as you can see just there. And we have three, okay? This person wants to rescue her boyfriend, uh, Nitro, could be a girl's name, I suppose, from the glitches. Could be a boyfriend, double boyfriend, who knows? <clears throat> this is the future. Uh, it's going to cost 200 buckaroos. We've got uh, four of them. We've got four, which is 2% of the progress there. Um, steal the M Laco Mark III to make enough money to pay for your husband's debt. Sounds like there's a lot of chicks here. And Chantel Clawless. Steal the... Oh, look at that. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> oh, no, it's a different thing. The El Mako Mark III and the bon Bonetto Mark IV. Uh, pay for your sister's debt. This one seems marginally cheaper, even though we've got no money. Uh, you've got a wrench and a quickfire gun. A long blade and a restockable concussive grenade launcher. Sounds kind of cool. A shotgun and a swapper. The swapper. Now, that sounds interesting. You can't actually... If I click this person, it will just select them. So I can't actually mouse over and get the information. But I do need to sort of figure it out. Wrench is a blunt weapon. Um, sure who I want to pick exactly. The 
Swapper sounds really cool. Let's go rescue my boyfriend from the glitches. <laughs> so with a swapper and a shotgun. Uh, I'm not actually... Uh, I prefer something that's a little bit quieter, actually. The long blade might be kind of cool, because we can go off and chop people up. And uh, it's quiet, so I can be more stealthy. So I'm actually going to go... Oh, I don't really know who I want. I'm going to pick the long blade. Although I'd really love to use the swapper. I'm going to pick the long blade anyway. We might uh, come back and use the swapper later. Let's go... Change my mind. We're going to go Chantel Clawless. I think it's got the best name there. Icicle Shimmer. Not quite my thing. So we're going to get the wrench, which is a blunt, quiet weapon, and the quick fire gun. So let's have a quick look at what we've got here. So the wrench allows us to... It's slow, so we can't just whack a whole bunch of people. We swing one, and there is enough time, probably, for somebody to shoot us before we can swing again. So we can take down one person at a time, but we've got a very long range to do it, and it's also concussive, so it doesn't kill people, it just knocks them down. We can use that to our advantage. Especially if we have to capture somebody who is maybe a less willing combatant or less willing to come with us. Quick fire gun is lethal, it will kill people, but it's also relatively quick for a gun. It takes only 3.3 seconds, so maybe we can get two swings off with this off a regular gun, but a quick fire gun will kill us if we're swinging the wrench at people, if there's enemies. So we've got two things there. Let's have a quick chat to say the fiasco. Hey, you need something? Uh, I'm gonna steal the Mark IV Benito thingamajiggy. Can you help me steal this? Probably. Send me details and put some feelers out. Okay, what happens next? My fee's 180 buckaroos. I'll start now, but come back when you get the money and I can start telling you where to look. Alrighty, thank you. Okay, so we have to save up some cash. Uh, I won't worry about any practice sims. I've done those. They're not... Uh, actually, it's probably a good, a good introduction to the game. Let's go into it. Um... I thought it would have allowed, because I've gone through the tutorial, I can't redo them. Let's do a random practice easy and just see what happens. Uh, actually, maybe not. Let's just do an easy mission, let's just keep going. We'll start the game, we might as well get paid for the missions we're doing. And hijack, steal the Clawless Mark II, that's interesting. Uh, we'd prefer the Mark IV and the Benito, but whatever, it's something similar. But let's start with an easy one here, assassinate Celestine, etc. So, it's a small foundry ship, whatever the hell that means. There's no alarm response, so... So every, every mission's different, it's worthwhile knowing that. Some of them have different time limits, different guards. And, excuse me, kitty cat, you probably shouldn't jump on the screen. This one here has a 24 second alarm response, so if, if a guard discovers us, we have 24 seconds until we're captured, uh, or we have to kill the, uh, the captain in time to, uh, to actually stop that. And... Apparently there's no way to actually get killed in this particular mission. You see the glitch back guarantee, that green thing there. So they won't allow us to die, but we can't pass the mission. So if we get shot at and we can't dodge it, we'll teleport out uh, and the mission will fail. So it's a one-shot one. Uh, and of course, non-lethal weapon, weapon required. We're going to be capturing somebody who is not quite so happy about it. For this one though, we're going to go to a simple assassination mission. There are a few guards, no alarm response and uh, we just have to kill a single person. The guards themselves are armed with uh, just wrenches, and there's two of them, and there are three finger quote bosses, which are effectively dudes with, uh, with key cards we can get through. They have key cards and they have guns. So let's give this one a shot and see how it goes. Liberation progress, we'll come back to that one in a minute. I actually don't know too much about it just yet. But anyway, turn to the pod, and let's go do ourselves a mission. You sort of fly out there. We've got, as far as I'm aware, unlimited fuel. You can have a bit of a fuel situation uh, if certain things go wrong, but we'll burn that bridge when we get to it, if we get to it. Hopefully I don't stuff up like that again. Okay, so we need, we need to get on board this ship here. So the ship is traveling. It's gonna continue traveling even while we're on it. Oh, let's find out where the entrance is. They're probably aware I'm coming if they've heard that crash, but we'll land on and we're on board. So, pausable, real time, we can move around, we can do all sorts of things, but we are on, and this is a live mission, so the people will try to kill us. Now, left click is our wrench, right click is our gun. If we use this, people will hear us and come looking. So let's try to, um, oh shit, let's try to take this guy out. Once I lock onto him, there we go. Got his gun, and knock him out as well. Uh, what guns we got? Nothing much. We can pick up, um, 
We can pick up the bodies and move them, but I'm not going to bother with that just yet. It's not really relevant. There's nothing down there. So let's head off. Now the question is... Let's just do non-lethal all the way. We might have to actually kill that guy, so... He's down. We'll take the captain out as well, just because... That's what I want to do. Uh, do we get a gun? Just a regular gun. So we'll keep our quickfire gun and just take the rounds for it. They have regular guns. It'll be shit. Whoa! Okay, this guy's coming for us. There we go. Shot him down. And with the key guard. Key card. So they saw us there, and we went into slow motion time as they started lining up a shot. I got enough chance to back out in time, and then we went back to normal speed as they came down, and I shot them as they came around the corner. And no doubt things will get a little bit more uh, messy in the end. This here is a glass wall, uh, same as the original ship, the training ship. I could smash that and shoot this guy out, or shoot myself out if I wanted to. But we've effectively won, there's no point, we could commandeer the ship, if we so wanted. But we'll stick with our little breaker, which is the thing we've got now that can go on and latch onto ships and break into them. Uh, do we need a wrench? We've already got a wrench. Oh, I might take... I think I'll take one more wrench just in case. There are a few little creative things you can do with wrenches that we might cover at a later date. Anyway, we return to the pod. You see now that we're actually much, much further out. Who knows where this thing was going? But uh, it'll continue off into space now because there is nobody to actually drive it. So we'll just head back home and that'll be the end of the mission. I'm going to do a couple more this episode just because I... It's only been sort of 16, 17 minutes. So we've got a little bit more time, but I'm having quite a bit of fun doing this game, and I think it's going to be uh, a lot of fun. Probably... Whoa! Oh, that was actually pretty good timing. And we're in. Uh, so let's have a look here. This is how they grade you. It should be theoretically possible to not kill anybody other than the target, and not harm anybody, so sneak by. What I do get is the fact that I was an enigma, so nobody saw anything happen. Well, there's no one living to say what's happened. Uh, the people here who were harmed, somehow they're not living witnesses. I don't quite know how that works. I'm not going to pretend to know because they saw me and I did knock them out. So they should wake up and remember me, but whatever. Let's pretend nothing happened. Um, alarms. Didn't trigger alarm. In this one there was no alarm, so I was safe there. And then I was not hurt or injured in any way. So we've got 13 pay. I don't know if these bump up your pay or not, or if they just uh, increase liberation progress or whatever the hell they do. Let's have a quick look at special stock while we're here. Uh, looks like a katana sort of a blade. That's a short blade like a knife. That was a hell of a lot quicker. We can swing really, really quickly. This one takes 0.4 seconds. So this one's effectively the same as our wrench, but it does kill people. Our wrench... Ah, our wrench might be louder. Actually, this blade might be really quiet. I only heard from one meter away. The wrench can be heard from a bit further because it makes like a dong when we hit people. Uh, I can't sell it, it's worth zero. Quick fire guns worth four dollars, but I'm not going to bother. I don't think the blades are necessarily something I need. Um, maybe if I find one, that'll be good. There are gadgets, which are the Sidewinder, which is, I think, what some of the other people had. It gives me... Huh. So I can teleport directly. Okay, so this one has a big radius. But, um, say, let's see if I draw it on screen here, say, um, I don't know how to describe this, but say I want to travel over here and there's like a big wall blocking me off and like a long spindly path and a guard patrolling up and down. That might be within the radius, but rather than walk up, across and come all the way down and, you know, travel through and whatever and walk up to my destination, what I can do is click the button over there and it'll teleport me invisibly all the way up there but it can't go through closed doors so if there is no physical way to get there if there's locks in the way I can't get there but if there's uh, a long sort of squiggly hallway I can actually teleport right to the end of it because it can physically find me a path is how I understand that to work probably not hugely useful but might be useful I suppose for jumping around behind guards guns we've got a couple of shotguns and a quickfire gun I have what appears to be a better quickfire gun though Again, that wind in the background might be getting really loud. Uh, I'm not sure the difference between these quickfire guns. The colours, I think, mean levels of quality or something. Grenade launcher uh, explodes after two seconds and kills everybody. And destroys sentry guns. Uh, it's probably a bit destructive for me. I don't need that just yet. Maybe later. 
uh, replacement pod. I'm not sure, it's a new breacher pod. I'm not sure exactly, but I'm, I suppose if my current one is broken and our stash is not relevant. So with that, let's go find another job. We've got enough time, I think, to complete another job for this mission. Um, I wonder if we can get... This one looks good. Non-lethal weapon required, and there is no alarm response. There are a bunch of guys here, so more than the last one. Um, but it's slightly better pay. This one here. Ooh, excuse me. Hiccups today. Um, yeah, this one looks a little tough. These guys are shielded, and they, oh no, hang on, not shielded. They have heat sensors, so they can see me or detect me even through walls and shotgun bosses. Let's stick with the uh, capture this clawless dude. Maybe maybe they're related to us. Orchard clawless. We are, we are like Miss Clawless or something. So maybe... Ah, and down here liberation progress. I see. So doing the easy one gives us only a small bit here. So effectively what we're trying to do... Um, I'll pick this one here and then I'll just sort of pause it for a little bit. So effectively what we're trying to do... Let's go to the strategy map here. What we're trying to do is liberate all these things here. This is a stronghold, stronghold of a different faction, another stronghold, and can I go down? Yep, down here to a fourth stronghold. So there are four different factions battling. Um, so every single galaxy will have these four little faction areas, but we will always start somewhere in the center, and there can be different shapes of galaxy. But typically, that's what we're trying to destroy. Now, I need to destroy, I need to liberate certain... Um, provinces or whatever and I'll gradually go through and every time I liberate one I gain more technology to use against liberating others so you might want to do them like a couple at a time from each one and gradually work your way out as opposed to say charging right towards the end and not having maybe not having the tech to take down the last guy so that's sort of what we're doing we're trying to build up liberation missions and this current one will build it up by a certain amount uh, and I'm assuming once we've done enough of these regular missions we can um, I suppose, I've never actually been that far, but I'm assuming that means we can then take on a liberation mission. Anyway, let's go and capture this person over here. Now, the ship itself might be able to destroy us. We should be a little careful here. Because I have come in from the front of them before, and they've shot me with the cannon and blown the crap out of my ship. So let's just take this nice and careful here. That's the entrance over there. And we're on. Okay. And already we're facing a guard. Let's... They can't see us because we're behind this door. So I'm going to charge out. And that's that person down. What weapon did they have here? Just a regular gun. Okay, there are two guards over here. Now what we've got here is a little bit of an interesting um, conundrum. There are two guards and our wrench can only take out one of them. Oh shit, okay. So they can see us. Ah, okay. Well, I died. That was pretty interesting. Oh, and they've dumped me out in the space. Okay, that could be a problem. Uh, let's remote control our pod and go in and save us. That's a bit of a problem. Now, our character's about to pass out, so we need to rescue them quickly. Okay, so now we can only survive for 24 seconds. In future, we're not completely healed. Okay, let's be a little bit more careful. They shot me before I could managed to get in there. So this is a bit more of a difficult mission. Yes, I'm just proving how inept I am. So I am still new at this game. I've only done like one or two missions, but we'll go on and we'll see what we can do. Uh, looks like they are back. So we knocked them out and this person then has come back. So that person's down, but they're now on high alert. So we need to be very careful here. Uh, let's see if I can pick up a guard and just drop their body off there. Maybe that will make things a bit better. If they look away, maybe I can... No! Okay, they saw me, but now they're coming. So, I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to press... Um, so I've swung that wrench and I can't swing it again. What I'm going to do is go to the T and go to throw. What I'll do is I'll just throw it at this person's face. Nope, that didn't work. Let's instead pull out our gun and shoot them in the head. Okay, that was really close. So we threw our wrench at them, but we missed. Maybe because it was too close. Pick that wrench back up again. And don't worry about this ammo. 
Uh, we have, though, unlocked everything here. Actually, there's an unlocking thing up there. We need to take out this guard over there. And there's a few others. This guy's facing the wrong way, so we come up behind him. We should be able to just knock him clean out, take his ammo, and uh, nobody seems to have heard us. So we'll unlock all level 2 doors. And now that's the guy we have to capture. We can't kill him. So other guys we can kill, but we can't do it to this guy. And there's a, a little ammo box at the end that we can raid. So... Get this guy here. That's those two down. What I'm going to do is actually pick up their bodies. Drop them out here. So that nobody else becomes alert to them. Although, it looks like the others have gone over there. So I'll knock that guy clean out. And knock him as well. And there we go. Uh, I dropped the gun. I need to unlock level 3 doors and see what we've got over here. Alrighty, what have we got? We've got a rechargeable sidewinder. There we go. So that's that thing that we were talking about before, that teleporting thing. So this one's rechargeable, so I can keep using it. Uh, I'm not sure how often it recharges. Okay, at the end of a mission. So we can use it three times in one mission, and it'll recharge. Uh, let's actually keep this one. Uh, these guns are not particularly relevant. We've got a better gun already from our character. So with that, let's pick up Mr. Clawless. Take them all the way back. We could actually hijack the ship if we so wanted. Um, yeah, I suppose we could. I'm not going to bother with it just yet, though. I don't think it gives you anything. Uh, if anyone knows about this game, by all means, tell me. Let me know. We've dumped his body there. Return to our pod. And with that, we can head straight back to our mission now. Okay, we're actually really close to home. That's brilliant news. Oh, I missed it. is a little bit difficult with these Newtonian physics, but... Or non-Newtonian non physics, I think they're called. Yeah, non-Newtonian. Either way, we've got this body, we drop him off the drop point, and uh, we took some injuries. We were silent though, but there were two living witnesses, so they saw us, but we didn't kill them. So I, I got it now. So that first mission I did, I knocked them out from behind. They didn't see me. But this one, these guys saw me. So even though I knocked them out, once they woke up, they were uh, con not concerned with that. I did kill one guy, but we did get our full pay, so I don't think it actually matters. Maybe it changes the liberation progress or something, or maybe it's just a, a little target thing. But anyway, that's where I'm going to end this episode. I've been Bill said This has been a little brief look at, uh, what's this game called? Heat Signature. If you guys are interested in seeing a little bit more, I'm going to record a few more episodes just because I want to keep playing this game for the time being. Uh, but if you are interested, then by all means, Drop a couple of thumbs up, let me know, some comments would be great, let me know if you'd like to see this going onwards into the future. Uh, if it doesn't get a huge response, I might just end up playing it on my own. But either way guys, take care, and I will see you next time.